Hi folks, my name is Martin Anderson. I'm CFA's Digital Media Manager. I'm just going to make some short videos to help explain to people how to use the news and media site. The CFA news and media site uh, is an evolution of the CFA Connect website that people may remember from a couple of years back. Uh, to get to the site you go to the CFA website, cfa.vic.gov.au and click on the news and media tab. You can also go straight to news.cfa.vic.gov.au to register an account or log in, you click on the Contribute tab. If you have an account, just enter your username and password. If you've forgotten your password or username, click here to reset it. And if you don't have an account, just click here. That takes you to the Register page. The most important thing on this page is that you use your volunteer or staff number and the email address that you have registered with Brigades Online or CFA Online. If you're not sure what email address you have registered in the CFA database just click on this link here and that will take you to CFA online or brigades online and you can update your details or check what your email address is. Don't worry about the avatar uh, the avatar isn't really displayed anywhere on the site so you can just leave it as the CFA logo. The If you click here to see the terms and conditions once you've read those you just check this box to say that you're aware of the terms and conditions and then click register. Once you've done that, you'll get an email to the address you entered uh, and there'll be a link there to activate your account. Once you've done that, you can log in and upload content. Each time you log into the site, it verifies your staff number, volunteer number and your email address with the CFA database. So if you do ever change your email address on CFA Online or Brigades Online, you need to also make sure it's changed in the news and media site. And obviously if you left CFA and your, de your details were removed from the CFA Online or Brigades Online database, then uh, you would no longer be able to access the, the site.